Hey, it's Allie with Seattle Coffee here, and today we're doing a crew review of the Capresso Infinity Plus grinder. This is a upgrade from their regular Infinity grinder, and it has a few differences. A larger hopper, so this holds 11 ounces of beans total. 14 grind adjustments and a timer that can go up in adjustments of five seconds all the way up to 60. This is gonna be a great grinder for drip, pour over, um, pretty budget friendly as well. It comes in the black plastic casing or this metal stainless like we have here. The metal casing actually helps a little bit with the sound deadening, um, which is a nice little option. It's really simple to use, all you do to click is, I'm sorry, to change grind settings is to click over and there's a little red line on the front that tells you where you are sitting. You have even broken up categories. So like extra fine would be like for your pressurized espresso or maybe you like to do an air press on that finer side. Um, some finer pour over grinds, some coarser like Chemex or French press grinds. And I've had a sample of those picked out here for you. This is the coarsest option that the Compresso grinder offers. This was literally all the way to the max. So it's not as coarse as I usually see for French press, but I still think you could get away with it if you had one of those metal mesh fine filters. And then we move over to like the medium category. This would be more for like a pour over for me. This is kind of the grind I want. It's actually pretty consistent and I would totally take this. I, I really like the way these grinds came out. We have the fine option here, and this is pretty fluffy. I think you probably would wanna do this for something like the AeroPress. This is a pretty good grind for that, maybe like a mocha pot. Then the finest option here, this is pretty fluffy. I mean, it condenses and compacts really nicely, like if you were comparing it to this grind option here. So this is definitely nice for pressurized. It wouldn't be able to pull off real unpressurized espresso because this is absolutely at the finest option and you'd probably want a little bit more flexibility there. The adjustments between these are not going to be fine-tuned enough for that type of espresso but still really great product. I think the burrs inside of this are roughly 38. It is conical steel burrs so that's really common in any kind of bulk type grinder. It's gonna reduce any heat that would happen if you're using a flat burr. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. It comes with a catch bin in front, which is convenient for your grinding needs. It does come with a little scoop and a brush for cleaning, but that's about it. Let's talk about the sound. The, the sound on this one is gonna be a little bit less than that of the black casing, but it's not bad at all. I was actually pretty surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example of that now. Right, okay, so I had this in like the medium range and for two, the setting two, which is about 10 seconds worth of grinding, grinds all into the bend there um, and looks pretty great. Not too difficult or complicated. I definitely recommend this for pour over. I think it's quieter than some of the other grinders that we sell that can do the same thing. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for that. Budget friendly, can't really go wrong. The only thing I will say about the Capresso grinders is that they have a one year warranty, which is great, but they don't really offer replacement parts. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are purchasing this grinder. You wanna make sure that you're taking care of it. That way, if anything goes wrong, you know, you, um, you should be pretty easy to fix. But Capresso will take care of you for that first year. If you have any questions about this grinder, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Just place them in the comments below or give us a call. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.